In the region of Arcabuco, located in the department of Boyacá, one of the crops that most prevails is the one of blackberries, a sweet fruit, a rich herbal, rich in vitamin C, with a high content of water and medicinal properties as well. The blackberry has a great range of adaptation and climate resilience, which is also an advantage. Thanks to this and its organic management, can have a permanent production during the whole year. This blackberry is called the blackberry common variety. It is native from here, Gachantiba, region of Arabuco, Moniquira. Crops are treated by farmers and their families, who appreciate the use of land free from pesticides and who promote the care and friendly land handling. Here we don't use neither chemicals, pesticides, fertilizers, nor synthetic additives, since the products that are cultivated are characterized by being completely organic, which means that they support biodiversity, care, and natural process of earth. This blackberry is totally organic, and for the proper growing of the seed it is treated with the tractor. Then it is planted with organic fertilizers, and it is pulled out all organic. It is good to consume by every kind of people. Using organic material improves the structure, aeration, water holding capacity and progress of biological characteristics of the soil. What brings out a good crop of blackberry like the one we see in the farm La Lajita which hosts the production of this fruit for a variety of buyers from different industries, such as the health sector, for its high level of nutrients. Thanks to the biological crop management under organic standards that ensures its consumption, it will not have any risk for the health. The cost to maintain an organic blackberry plant is a little expensive, but then it is very profitable in the way people use it a lot at the hospitals since it doesn't have or it doesn't contain any chemicals. So it is very used, especially for the hospitals and for people who are on a diet. And as it doesn't have any chemicals, it is not harmful to your health. Here there is a great variety of grown food in farms that offer supplies and healthy products under processes such as the layering, the time period of planting and the organic management so that, later, you can start the process of picking up the fruit. Here we grow almost everything organic. We have blackberries, we have corn, we have aracasia, peas, beans, fruits of cold weather. Therefore, we don't use anything chemical. It is produced by layering. The age of the planting, the production takes around 8 months. When it reaches 8 months, it is ready to begin being collected. A tree like this, depending on the maintenance, could be given a kilo of blackberry every eight days, on a weekly basis. And the time is, I mean, there is no time limit. If you take care of it daily, on a daily basis, it will produce blackberry. It's a never-ending crop. Before planting, it is important to remove all possible weeds with a weeding machine or hoe. One of the best methods to obtain vigorous plants consists in the rooting zone of the stem while the branch continues being attached to the mother plant. This is called layering. It is done in clumps of long terms to which branches of good features are chosen. We put it carefully on the ground without pulling it out from the mother plant. Then we cover it with earth every 25 centimeters until the whole branch is reached or buried. The blackberry plant starts to bear fruit at 6 or 8 months after transplanting, and depending on your handling and care, the plant might have periods of 10 or more years of production. The same increases as it grows and progress in the age of the crop. The weeds compete against the blackberry for moisture, nutrients, and light. Those are hosts of insects, transmitters of viruses which interfere with the flow of air and the drying of the fruit.
Keep in mind that for sustainable health in the field, all the defective or injured fruit, overripe or dead, should be removed during each harvest and placed in a separate container by the picker, or in a can tied around the waist of the harvester. This fruit of lower quality may be useful to determine what can be used for the processing market. You should never leave on the plant the fruit that is diseased or damaged, since it will contaminate and spread virus or disease to healthy fruit. On the other hand, and to continue speaking about organic crops, as well as in the case of the blackberry, of course, in a place very close, and also located in the department of Boyacá, we found another farm where organic cultures and friendly agriculture are also the priority. For Luis Herman García Castañeda, one of their priorities is the topic of friendly agriculture, that is also friendly with the environment, with the health of the human beings, and with what springs from earth. It is for this reason that his cultivation of rolla beans seeds is completely organic. We planted about an arroba of beans in this area. It was already crossed, land was already arranged to make it sustainable. This is a land that has rested, it is a land that hasn't been touched by anything for 18 years. That is to say, it is decontaminated of any chemical. As I told you before, we plant about an arroba of beans and we expect to harvest approximately 70 lumps in what we are seeing now. This rising farmer who came from the city is every time more into topics of organic agriculture in order to produce healthy crops and at the same time to reconnect with their ancestral origins. With this I'm going back to my origins in two senses. The first one, my grandfather was a farmer. He used to harvest beans, barley, wheat. In the time you could cultivate this kind of food in the savanna of Bogota. The second aspect is my reconnection with the land, basically. As I said, going back to my origins, I'm trying to retrieve what anciently our indigenous handled our predecessors on the agriculture. We want to rescue from first hand those concepts, those concepts with which our indigenous used to grow. All these by taking advantage of the knowledge of the entire universe, basically trying to lead ourselves by our own weather predictions. We try to be guided by the faces of the moon. We try to preserve, to redeem all the knowledge from our ancestors. That is the second thing. This is an opportunity for the city to turn the eyes to the field and to the agriculture culture in the country. That one that allows us to find new jobs and ways of living by recovering the field. Colombia is one of the richest countries in the world in biodiversity. It has many number of possibilities of soils, I mean types of soils, types of height and we can harvest them from almost any part. That's why this attempt to discover a new job or occupation, a new environment, a new way of life, and it is by just recovering the field. The physical and chemical conditions of the soil where our beans are grown in Colombia are highly variable, which is a good example of the ability of this plant to adapt to a large number of conditions of soils usually deep, fertile, and with good physical properties in general. It is sown on mountain areas and also in the valleys. The use of organic fertilizers improves water retention capacity of the soil. It provides nutrients. It helps to preserve the life and health of soils, plants and people. At the same time, the products are environmentally responsible. Their use can decrease production costs.
It is for this reason that the ecological and friendly agriculture every time takes more place, becoming a productive system that allows the integration of economic, social, environmental and ecological aspects, being also an opportunity to generate new systems of self-sustainable development and the creation of new techniques of organic agriculture that benefits human beings, animals and the environment itself.